Hi there, this is Robert Simon from Volvo. And in this short video, I would like to show you our new client application that is running on a Philips E-Ink device. The uh, this uh, Philips E-Ink device is special because it has an E-Ink screen and an Android application or Android motherboard in the background. So of course it works differently from a uh, classic digital signage media player because the device is in sleep. It wakes up, it checks if the uh, image on the screen needs to be updated, updates it and goes to sleep again for X hours. Normally it is just a one uh, refresh time per day because the refresh takes about one minute, one and a half minute, so it, it is a longer process. Our client application can be installed uh, via uh, USB pen drive and you have to remote to the uh, device first because there you have to start the installer application, you have to enter the server URL it will communicate with, and also you get there a four-digit code, and that four-digit code needs to be registered in Walboard system. But from that point, you will see this device as, a, uh, as the member of, uh, of your network, and you can assign a content to it. You can assign a content, like a loop, to it, and if there is a loop assigned to the device, it will iterate all the items from the loop, picks the first uh, valid, I mean time-based valid uh, asset from the loop, and it will display it and go back to sleep again. And next time, if you change the order, uh, one image becomes invalid due to, for example, date, then it will uh, pick the next image and display that one. This is one option, but in Volboard system, which is a very complex system, you can also do other things, like for example, assign a content to it, and in that case, if you create a complex content, let it be a Power BI enabled uh, uh, heavy content, then our backend will create a snapshot of that content, and we will send the snapshot image to the uh, media player to display. So we are not doing the rendering on this uh, particular device, but we do it on the server side and, and uh, just display the still image on, on the uh, Philips uh, toggle device. What else do I need to mention? What we have already implemented is uh, a new client application that is iterate, re registering on the server and when it registers it gets the, the length of sleep from the server so you can configure it on the server side if the device needs to wake up once a day or let's say every hour the server tells it and it will uh, wake up when the server tells to wake up you see the uh, device on the server side uh, online even in that time when the device is sleeping, because the device, when it updates the image, tells the server that I'm available for the next X hours, and in that next X hours, it, uh, it is uh, handled as an online device. It caches the uh, resources, so it doesn't, uh, doesn't uh, download the uh, the asset once again. It doesn't uh, refresh the screen if the ch if the picture is not changed. It is doing updates. You can manage the rotation. We get the device information and also metrics, including even the Wi-Fi strength and the the connected network. So many media player details in the metrics and. Uh, Yes, that's it. Uh, this is what I wanted to show that uh, our client application is already running on it. It is very good for a still image like, for example, a menu board. And of course, within the menu board, these fields, the, the prices and also what is available and what is not available can come from a data source. Of course, it will be, never be as fast as a uh, classic signage uh, screen, but if you just check if the prices uh, if the pricing has changed in the recent one hour and you just update the screen if uh, there is any change so, so for example if there is no more chili and, and spice to remove it from the list then our backend side will create a new still image will download it to the media player and the media player will update it on the screen 
uh, up to a live data source connection, uh, connection. So this is what I wanted to sh uh, show you in this uh, short video and see you in the next one. Thank you.